Well, it's, it's wonderful to be here in Monterey. I'm glad we could get out to the beach. Well, if you come out and look at this view, it, uh, if, if nothing else tells you about what the oceans are about, if it wasn't for uh, the, the kind of beauty of this area, uh, I don't think I'd ever have been energized to go back to Washington because this really tells you what life is really all about. Leon Panetta, uh, thank you for having us here to Monterey um, to talk about oceans. And that's a subject I know is uh, close to your heart. Ten years ago, the Pew Commission released its report recommending a dramatic shift in the way we view oceans and their management. When you think back on that time with the Pew Oceans Commission and, and subsequently, what do you feel like uh, the most important accomplishments of the commission were? Well, you know, it was a great commission. We had some very good members, uh, you know, representing both the environmental community, the fishing community, people who uh, came from public service. It was really a good cross-section, and uh, we, we worked our way through some of the tough issues uh, that uh, face the oceans. And I guess the most important thing that we were able to, uh, you know, to focus on was our fisheries and the state of our fisheries. We were finding in place after place that we went to that uh, the fisheries were slowly being destroyed in each of these areas, and that uh, a principal resource, not only for our food, but for the economic livelihood of these communities was being lost because we were not being good stewards of that fishery. Uh, looking at the relationship between the ocean and land, uh, the whole ecosystem, and this isn't just about the ocean, it's also what's happening on land and in our rivers that determines a lot of the impact in terms of our oceans. Developing, you know, and recommending that we expand the marine reserves those reserves are, are incredibly important to the ability of the resource to be able to reestablish itself uh, in, the, in these areas. And I guess just, you know, lastly, developing kind of a, the importance of national ocean policy, that we've got a great treasure in our oceans and that we have a responsibility to protect that treasure, not only for ourselves, but for our children. How do you feel the commission changed our national conversation about the oceans? You know, at the time we were, we began the, the Pew Ocean Commission that uh, this country largely took our oceans for granted. And uh, nobody really paid attention to what was happening to that, uh, to that great resource and the damage that was occurring. And I think we changed the conversation because I think people throughout this country now recognize that uh, our oceans were in trouble. For the first time, we started a discussion that said, you know, we can't take our oceans for granted because even though we thought this resource was lim limitless in terms of its expansiveness, the fact is that it, can, it is very vulnerable to human behavior. And if we don't clean up our act in the way we deal with the oceans, that we could damage that great resource for forever in the future. But what more uh, remains to be done? What do we need to focus on in the future? Well, you know, the focus of our commission was really on the oceans that border on the United States. But the fact is that our oceans are all interrelated. This is, you know, our oceans don't just stop uh, at our uh, international boundaries. And I saw this as Secretary of Defense uh, going abroad, going to Asia, and then also going to countries uh, in the Middle East. And you could see you know, in area after area, the impact of pollution, the impact of human behavior in terms of these oceans. And I think what needs to be done is we just need to reach um, on in a broader sphere and, and bring in the international community so that uh, others realize that they have a responsibility like the United States does to changing the way we approach our oceans. Uh, and uh, developing the kind of uh, rules on fisheries, sustainable fisheries, developing reserves, developing better uh, attitudes towards pollution, uh, human behavior, coastal development. Uh, all of that needs to be addressed by the international community. You've devoted a lot of time and energy to ocean conservation and governance, but more recently you've focused on national security. How has that experience 
changed your views on the relationship between a healthy environment, what some have described as natural security, and national security? Well, you know, it was, uh, it, it's, it's been a fascinating trip uh, going, going, uh, coming back uh, to uh, the CIA as director of the Central Intelligence Agency and then uh, becoming Secretary of Defense. And it was at the CIA that I established a global warming section, obviously concerned about you know, the environmental impacts and the quality of life impacts, but also to raise the issue about how it relates to our national security. The fact is that the changes that are taking place are impacting on weather systems. That means that we're gonna have you know, additional droughts, additional disastrous storms that are gonna impact on countries. The level of the ocean is changing, uh, and it's going to impact on countries in significant ways. So uh, we found that there was a real interest in the work we were doing uh, to, to say, wait a minute, this really does relate to our national security. We had analysts looking at this stuff. And the same thing is true of the Defense Department. I mean, there, I mean, obviously the Navy, an important part of our national defense, our Navy depends on the oceans. And the impact of uh, what happens in our oceans can very well affect uh, our, our sea lanes, our sea routes, uh, and affect uh, you know, our ability to defend our oceans. This is not just a singular issue that you know, a few environmentalists are concerned about. What we are talking about is something that relates to our very life. You chaired the Pew Oceans Commission where we brought together diverse constituencies, many of which did, did not agree on the future management of the ocean and, and sometimes even what the problems were and forged a consensus for some powerful recommendations that are still relevant today. What's your suggestion as to how we can- <laughs> What's the key here? We can ad ad advance that ocean agenda that you were talking about yeah. of sustainability. I think the key, uh, Chris, is uh, something I've uh, learned throughout my political career. The first and foremost, you have to identify those problems that we're confronting and get a consensus on that. And then as you start to ask what, you know, what kind of recommendations, what kind of actions should we take, you need to listen. Uh, the fact is, yeah, you know, there are people that have different ideas here, but you should listen to them, understand what their concerns are. And then if you try to take their concerns into consideration as you move towards recommendations, then what happens is this. They may not get everything they want, I, I usually never get everything I want. But you move the ball forward. And the fact that you've been able to fully participate in that process buys you into the process itself. We have a beautiful setting here along the Monterey Coast. What was it like growing up here? It was great. I mean, it's a great place to grow up, uh, you know, along the uh, Monterey coastline. As a boy, uh, you know, son of Italian immigrants, uh, you know, Monterey was a, was a bustling town. The sardine industry was, was jumping. My, my grandfather, who was a fisherman, uh, used to carry me on his shoulders down to the wharf and uh, gave me an appreciation for, for the ocean and what it's about. In my lifetime, I think we have finally understood that we have to pay attention to what um, human beings are doing with regards to that natural environment, uh, that there has to be an interrelationship, an interdependence here in order to make sure that that's there for our kids. What do you think about the unfinished business of, of protecting ocean habitat? Is there more to be done? Oh, there's no question. I mean, you know, one of the things we learned in the Pew Ocean Commission is how little we really do know about the ocean. Uh, life under the oceans is something we've just begun to really understand. And so the ability to really learn about that resource, to understand what impacts on it, and then to make sure that we protect what gives our oceans life itself, uh, I think that's what the future is going to be all about. Well, thank you, Mr. Secretary, for taking the time. Thanks, and, Chris. Uh, nice to have you out here. Thanks for bringing me out to the beach. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.